So part two. If, for example, I want to know, well, what will happen after this? What will the next step down be? I could go through this whole process again, and I could pick my new, and I could pick my DV. However, what this working tells me is that after I've done all that, I will get minus. Now, instead of n, I actually have n minus 1, don't I? That's, that's this number here, so I've, I've transferred it up on 2. And then this is going to be not the n minus 1th integral, but the n minus 1 minus 1 integral, which of course is n minus 2. It's the next one down. Okay? So I can, of course, do integration by parts all over again, but the whole point of a recurrence relation is I don't have to. I've done that all and I've established the pattern and now I'm just going to take advantage of it. Okay. Okay? Now, I'm going to do one more step here because you can see what I've got. I'm trying to fall a pattern and you need three terms always to establish a pattern. So I'm just going to do one more. Right? So this is the next one down. So what I'm trying to do is, like I did here, right? it's like I'm getting one lower power of whatever. Okay? In this case, it's one lower power of log x every single time. So I'm trying to make this, I'm trying to get this closer and closer to this thing I can evaluate. So what's this one going to be? Minus n minus <coughs> 2, all over 2, of which integral? n minus 3. n minus 3. Fantastic. Okay, so I feel like this is enough. I can, I've established a pattern here. But what I need to do is go so far <coughs> through the pattern that eventually... I'm done and I have, an int I have a, a statement which I can just evaluate. Okay? And I don't have to rely on integration of my parts. So therefore, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to skip a whole bunch of steps and I want to see well, what happens at the end of this. What will the very last terms be? And again, I'm looking for three terms. Okay? Now the last term is going to be I1. Right? It's going to be I1. I there is no I0. Okay? So therefore, watch what happens. Okay? Yeah, you have to be careful. Okay. I'm going to actually start at I4. I want three more terms. I want three more terms. But because the definition for IN involves an IN minus 1, then I want this one to be I1. Does that make sense? I don't want it to be an I0 because that doesn't exist. If I want that to be I1, then the last one I write down will be I2. So to get three in total, I'll have two, three, and 4. Does that make sense? Okay. So here I am, jumping on an I4. Uh, I'm going to use the recurrence relationship. So this is minus 4 over 2 I what? 3. Uh, the next one will be minus 3 over 2 of I2. And then you're going to have I2, which is, now I could write this as minus 1. Okay. But I'm trying to establish a pattern here. I don't want things to be simplified out so they don't look like a pattern. I'm going to leave that like that, which I agree is a little bit awkward, but that's okay. I1. Okay. <coughs> now, I'm almost there. I need to know what I1 is. I actually need to, because this is the point, like I had here, where it's like, oh, cool. I've been climbing down this integration ladder, and eventually I get to the bottom rung, and I step off, and I'm like, cool. I've got something that I know the value of, not something which has a more integral to it. Okay. So therefore, let's work out what I1 is. I1 is actually the integral from 0 to 1 of what? X ln x. X ln x. Dx. Yeah. Which again, this, this is the same problem that I had before, but that's okay. We will deal with this when we, when we eventually get there. Um, x log x, we've done this before. Well, this is one of the simplest questions under integration by parts, right? Can we do our u and our dv? Can you tell me what to pick? Yeah. Should it be ln times No. Nope. Because it's log x to the power of n, which in this case is 1. But you're flowing through the cycle. Mm, no, I'm not. I've gotten off this now. I can't use this line to define I1 because it would rely on an I0, which doesn't exist. Which doesn't exist. You see that? So this is not a recurrence relation anymore. This is an integral with no more further integrals after it. Does that make sense? Not on the recurrence relation anymore. I've, I've left it behind. Uh, what am I going to choose? U equals X. U equals X. I think log x might be a little more helpful. Yeah. Um, over here, that's going to give me 1 over x. 
over here, that leaves me with x, which leaves me with x squared on 2. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay. So here I'm going to have this guy. From 0 to 1, okay, which again gives us that same weird problem. We you see what I mean? Like all the way down, all of those UVs from 0 to 1, they always evaluate out to 0 once you deal with the limits, which I'm kind of glossing over a little bit, okay? Um, here I've got the integral of v du, v du, which is, uh, what is it? X on 2? Yeah, from 0 to 1, dx. Are you happy with that? So, as I established, we'll talk about that later. Um, this is uh, the integral of x on 2 from 0 to 1, which is... Isn't it x squared on 4? Yeah, so this is what happened in the question as well. They didn't actually integrate it, and they just left it as what was inside the Oh, sorry. Sorry, of course it is. Yeah, which actually, I need that. <laughs> that's fine. But so um, that's what they did yeah. in the questions. They literally just got x on 2, and they put the boundaries on... On this particular question? Very similar. Like they had something like this, and they I'll have a look at it. I'm happy to have a look at it later. Um, I actually had this written down. I don't know. I forgot it. Okay, so we've actually properly integrated now. That's great. So now evaluating it at the top and bottom boundaries, I'm going to get minus one over four and zero, which is minus one over four. Okay. Now, now, where is this going to go? I now have all of these steps of the ladder here. Now, I will just give a bit of a. Um, shout out to mathematical induction, which is very similar to this. When we get to it, you'll see it's like, oh yeah, you establish this pattern, and you get the. It's this, it's very um, an integer sort of question, right?